Hey Daily Habit, Rodney Torres coming to you from the Manhattan Bridge Skate Park where today the skateboarding community has come together to honor one of New York's biggest, brightest legends, Harold Hunter. Although it's been three years since his passing, Harold's influence on the sport, the city, and his people is clearly alive and well. What is Harold Hunter's legacy here in New York City? Harold Hunter was the forefather of New York skateboarding as far as the vibe and the style. He really embodied what skateboarding and kind of youth culture at the time was back then. Things have changed a lot, but I mean, kids still from all over the world come around to New York City to be part of what they remember from the movie Kids and the first New York mixtape, because everybody still wants to enjoy that kind of freedom that he embodied. There isn't a building big enough. There isn't a statue bright enough. There isn't another personality sharp enough. You know, um, my man was like a mascot at first, that funny little guy with the googly eyes. Shortly became a great skateboarder. Uh, friend to many, legends to most, but uh, a close bro, man. This, man, everyone's here for Harold. There's not a single person here who doesn't know who Harold is. Harold was the man, he's the legend. All right, well, that's it for the third annual Harold Hunter Day event here at the Manhattan Bridge Skate Park. I want to thank the Harold Hunter Foundation for making this possible, along with its supporting sponsors. I also want to thank everyone that was able to come out and honor the legendary Harold Hunter. Thanks for watching. <laughs>